Well, the decision coming as North Korea and China tensions obviously are heating up right now. I want to go to the Center for National Interest Defense Studies Director Harry Kazianis and former Assistant Secretary of Defense Larry Korb. Uh, Harry, let me start with you on this. I don't, the, the news in of itself, not necessarily a surprise, well telegraphed and talked about for a very long time. I think folks, though, are looking at the timing of it, specifically uh, ahead of this potential North Korea meeting and what it all means. Charles, I, I think the timing here is, is, is actually perfect. Look at the amount of foreign policy challenges this President Hunt is, is on his plate for a second. He has North Korea. He has probably what is going to be the summit of the century with Kim Jong-un. And he needs the right team around him that share that same perspective, that, share, that same wavelength, that chemistry. You have challenges with Iran. I think today is the day where you can actually say the Iran nuclear deal is probably dead and buried. You have other issues like trade and, and other challenges like the rise of China. If the president doesn't have the right team around him, if he has people potentially leaking behind his back that don't share the same vision, all of that, you might as well just flush it down the garbage. So I, I think this is the reason why he had to make this move. Larry, uh, President Trump has always talked about having dissenting voices in the room, but to Harry's point, uh, you know, they just didn't see eye to eye, whether it was Jerusalem, North Korea, the Iranian deal. And now, of course, uh, President Trump's focus on trade and taking a hard line on trade. It, it's hard to imagine perhaps that the ex CEO of ExxonMobil would be on the same page as well. Do you see this realignment, uh, Trump 2.0, the second year, going more toward an economic nationalist sort of theme uh, that was promised on a campaign trail? Well, I do, and I, I, I disagree with Harry there in the sense, yes, the president can have anybody he wants, but it's good to have dissenting voices around so he hears all points of view. I can remember Secretary Weinberger and Secretary Schultz presenting uh, President Reagan with different uh, points of view. Uh, Secretary Mattis does not agree with the president on most of these issues, but he's a terrific secretary of, of defense. And I do worry making this change now, while you have a very short time until the meetings uh, with uh, the North, North Korean leader, whether you're going to have everything in order to make sure that you get the agreements that you, that you would like. Uh, similarly, on the Iran deal, I think it would be a disaster if we get out of it now. And this is something Secretary Mattis agrees with, given that you're trying to get North Korea to give up their nuclear weapons. Why would they do it if you get out of the Iran deal? You know, Harry, sometimes in the huddle, the quarterback will call the play. It's usually the wide receiver who says, no, I think we should do something else, and the quarterback will call the same play over, and everyone runs the play. I'm not sure that always happened with respect to Rex Tillerson, but what do you make of what Larry's saying, that changing some of these things up, changing the approach right now midstream could actually do more harm than good? I respect Larry a lot. He's a great guy, but I, I dissent because of this reason. If Rex Tillerson and people in his State Department, and again, I have no proof of this, so just thinking it through, if they're leaking and they are not on with the Trump agenda and they don't agree with some of the positions Trump has taken, whether it's on North Korea, Iran, trade, Forget about having people that are in, in position that can help. If they're actually working against the president, you can throw everything out the table. And I, I think there's actually bigger changes that are coming here. I, I see H.R. McMaster probably getting replaced pretty soon as well. Larry? Larry, your thoughts? Well, I, again, I would, I would hope not, again, particularly where, where you are. And there's no doubt, I tell you, Tillerson was a terrible Secretary of State. He didn't staff the building. He didn't work with all of the, the people in the State Department. I think uh, Pompeo probably will because he worked with the folks at the CIA. So I do, you know, I don't think he was good with that. But again, there's no problem if, in fact, you know, Secretary Tillerson uh, in my view, probably should have resigned given what's happened probably last November, and we wouldn't be in this position mission right now. But the fact of the matter is, I do think it's important to have some sort of continuity and the president to hear all points of view, because if he doesn't, none of us is perfect. He might make the wrong decision. He's still the decision maker, but I think it's, uh, you know, you need to hear all points of view. And it's not just the State Department. It's his own National Security Council that's doing a lot of the leaking. You know, Harry, um, the market started the session up almost 200 points, and then it was down uh, 100 points. And uh, some of this is anxiety over taking a hard line with China. Uh, Robert Lighthizer started an investigation, a 301 investigation, last, last August. No one took it seriously. Obviously, people are taking it seriously right now. And again, it feels like you've got the sort of globalist elites on one side who are being purged from the administration and the other folks who are now rising to uh, in power and stature. Uh, should we be concerned about this or does this dovetail with the promises that were made on the campaign trail? 
No, we shouldn't be concerned at all because this is what the American people voted for. Donald Trump was very clear on the campaign. He was he wanted to scrap the Iran deal essentially within the first few days of his presidency. He was going to get tough on China and its rise, especially looking at all of the different ways that China cheats on trade. And th this is the man that the American people voted for. So there shouldn't be any shock here. He's fulfilling the campaign promises that he made. I, I maybe he's different than other politicians who don't do that, but this is who Donald Trump is. Uh, okay, gentlemen, let's leave it there. Thank you both very, very much.